Hello, and welcome to this Aqua Data Studio, the Microsoft SQL Server Overview. Aqua Data Studio is a universal database ID and visual analytics productivity platform used by IT professionals working with data and databases. It allows you to develop and manage your databases by accessing, importing, exporting, and visually analyzing your data with ease. It supports over 30 database platforms and works on a variety of major operating systems such as Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And finally, it supports a combination of both relational, NoSQL, and cloud-based data sources that makes it easier for efficient data management and quick accessibility of those data management resources. So our agenda for today will be to learn how to register a server, query the database, export the query results to an Excel spreadsheet, creating a visual analytics diagram, and finally reverse engineering it to a data model. So without further ado, let's get started. Here I have the Aqua Data Studio application open. And just like you would go ahead and register any other data platform, we will be following the same procedure here as well. So what I will do is I will go ahead and right click on database servers and choose a register server. Since I already have a server here already registered, I'll go ahead and edit the connection and show you how to register it. So I'll right click on the server and choose server properties. Here we can give our Microsoft SQL Server a name. So here I've gone ahead and given it as production. We can choose the type based on the drop down list. And I have chosen production here. In order to recognize this particular uh, data source, you can choose a color of choice. So here I've chosen a tab color. So anytime you would initiate a new query analyzer window, you can actually go ahead and look at this tab color to make it easily uh, recognizable. Here we can choose the driver interface. And here I can choose uh, my authentication mechanism. We support Microsoft single sign-on, Windows Auth, as well as SQL Server authentication. Next, under the location, I will give it a server name or an IP address, and I will give it the appropriate port. Then once I'm satisfied with that, I'll go ahead and choose test connection. And there you go. You will get a successful connection to the database. We'll go ahead and click Save. And now I'll go ahead and connect to the database, expand it, and this gives us our database navigation tree. Now, if I were to expand the Worldwide Importers database, I can see the host of database objects that we support. So we have tables, views, stored procedures, user-defined functions, user roles, schemas, etc. So if I were to go expand on one of the tables, here I can go ahead and right click on one of the tables and choose select top 1000 rows. And this initiates a brand new query analyzer tab. And here you can see I have my log information plus the color that I chosen when I had registered the server. So I'll go ahead and click on this green icon that says execute. I'll go ahead and click on it. And I'm, I'm brought with a variety of options on the result set. So here I have a text format, here I have a grid, I have a pivot grid, I have a form. So I'll go back to grid. Now here what we can do is we can actually uh, go ahead and export the result sets to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll show you how it's done. Here under the result sets window, here you can see I have a green Excel icon here. So if I click on that drop down, I can say view as Excel spreadsheet. And this launches 
the Excel spreadsheet with the appropriate data, which is pretty awesome. Now let's take a look at how we can um, uh, create uh, a query by using the Query Builder option. So here what we'll do is next I'll go ahead and right click on any of the tables and I'll say I'll choose Query Builder. This brings up the Query Builder uh, user interface. Here I can choose which database I'm connected to and the associated tables and views. So what I can do now is I can just go ahead and drag and drop my source table and my target table. Or I can just go ahead and add multiple tables like this onto the user interface. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and add some joins between each of these tables. And once I'm satisfied here, you can see I have the SQL being built for me. And I can go ahead and execute the result sets here, so which is pretty nice. Now what we'll do is I will go ahead and show you how the example result sets are. So here I have an example here. So here you can see I've gone ahead and built a similar query builder and I've instantiated the result sets here. The same holds true for the SQL. You can go to this you can go to the grid, the pivot grid and look at the messages being displayed. Now let's take a look at how we can leverage our uh, uh, visual analytics uh, capability. So with the visual analytics, it's a very powerful tool within Aqua Data Studio. Let me go ahead and show you some of the key uh, features of how to initiate that process. Here you can go ahead under the result sets of this query window, we can choose new visual analytics workbook from the result set. And it brings us to a, another window. And here I can actually go ahead and drag and drop my fields that I'm interested in, my rows and columns. And what I can do is I can have this being displayed like this. And you can also choose the type of how I'm interested in. So let's say if I go and add this as the full name, and here I can remove this. And I can also add my dimensions here. Or I could just drag and drop that dimension to a particular color representing it. And it'll give me a host of options here. And here I have another sample example of how the visual analytics looks like. Here you can go ahead and see, I can sort it based on columns here by quarter, by month, by day, by hour, and even by the minute. It's pretty awesome. So Aqua Data Studio really shines in terms of providing you this kind of visual analytics for the, the power user, as well as the daily business analyst who is working to crunch those numbers and being able to display those into a, into a visually appealing format. Now lastly, uh, I would love to show you how you can go ahead and get all of this database information into a data model. So what we can do here is under the database navigation tree, we can right click on the database, go to the tools menu and choose ER diagram generator. Or we could go to the ER modeler uh, main menu located at the top here and you can choose new and uh, you can choose generate from here. So there's more than one way to achieve the same task. So here you can go ahead and choose tools and you can choose ER diagram generator. And here I can choose my schema and choose purchasing as one of my schemas and choose next. And there you go. So here you can actually go ahead and see how Aqua Data Studio really shines even at the data modeling level by providing you the concise uh, ability to visualize these data tables in a visual format, 
We also provide you with a nice overview window here that you can drag and drop. And finally, here you can also go to the tools menu and generate a script. You can also go and generate an HTML report out of this model. Save this as, as an image. Compare this with a different model uh, file. Comparing it with the live database as well. So you can have all of these abilities right within Aqua Data Studio. Now if I wanted to go in depth and double click on one of the tables, I can see the details of the table properties. Look at the storage, any comments, appearance, SQL preview, all that good stuff. So in summary, Aqua Data Studio provides extensive capabilities to improve productivity for developers, analysts, and DBAs alike. It helps you to connect to more than 30 different platform uh, databases, helps you build SQL queries faster, build excellent and visually appealing uh, data visualization uh, charts using the visual analytics feature, helps you streamline your database administration and leverage it to the even most novice DBAs that can use just one tool and administer a variety of database platforms. And you can do so much more. So if you would like to go ahead and give it a uh, kick the tires a little bit, you can go ahead and download a free trial at aquafold.com. And once again, you can go ahead and download uh, uh, the free trial at aquafold.com. You can also go ahead and contact sales at aquafold.com if you would like a personalized uh, demonstration of the tool. And with that, I would like to thank you for your time.